Way 31 is honoring and recognizing nonprofits who are honoring children. Yeah, so today we are celebrating Wellstone Behavioral Services and that much needed children's mental health crisis center it plans to open next year. You need only drive by the Wellstone Incorporated campus on South Memorial Parkway to see something new, something big is in the works. Wellstone's Karen Peterson calls it a wish granted, an answer to prayer a miracle in the making. Every year, about 800 children are taken by Hemsey via ambulance out of county and sometimes out of state, wherever they can find a bed. She says right now, the closest inpatient pediatric mental health facility is in Decatur and that it's often full. But come October, Huntsville, Alabama's largest city, will finally have that much needed, long overdue children's mental health facility Finally, Peterson says, peace of mind for parents who need to be with their children in the midst of a mental health crisis. This is a dream for so many people in this community who recognize the critical need for crisis care for our kids. And joining us right now from Wellstone, we have Jeremy Blair, the executive director, Karen Peterson, the director of development. Thank you both for being with us this morning. Jeremy, I want to ask you a question. We talk about how for so long parents here in Madison County have had to take their children to Tennessee, to, to Birmingham, and even farther away and leave them there when they're in the middle of these mental health crises. Mm -hmm. How important is it to those parents and, and those children being together as they recover from those crises. Yeah. Well, you can imagine if you're in that mm -hmm. uh, crisis state, you don't want to be separated from your loved one. Right. And so having this ability now to stay with your loved one in Huntsville is going to be have a huge impact on, on families. I can imagine so, but I do want to talk to you a little bit about funding because since the mm -hmm. pandemic, we've seen a lot of nonprofits that had to fold because of this. How have you all been able to stay on top of this and also raise money for this center? We've gotten an incredible response yes. from the community. We have a campaign called Be the Rock where we're asking people to help Wellstone build a strong foundation of compassion, connection, mm -hmm. and community, first for adults and now for children in crisis. And the response has been great. The support has been pouring in because people really are starting to recognize who Wellstone is, what Wellstone right. does, and how they can play a part in the future. And Jeremy can also speak to some of the state funding we've received that really helped get it going. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have uh, legislators in North Alabama that support uh, our cause. And so uh, Rex Reynolds has been one of those. And so. Um, that gives us that operational cost, so we're not having to raise that cost day in and day out or year in and year out. I'm very proud of my relationship that I have forged with, with Wellstone, with both of you in the time I've been back here in Huntsville. I, I do want to ask you, though, right over there, we always like to, when we have guests in the studio, just a little something to grab there. I'm not even sure what's on the other side of it, but just take it off. And y'all okay. can... What is it? Oh, wow. What does it say? $10,000. Thank you. Whoa. All right. Well, I want to introduce right. you right now. <laughs> From Toyota, Alabama, <laughs> Jason Puckett wow. and Becca Schmidt. I brought you here under a little bit of false pretenses, and it was a little hard to get wow. Jeremy here this morning. Yes. But uh, th this is a, a privilege. Uh, go ahead. You all tell them how important this is to you. Sure. On behalf of Toyota and Way 31, we just want to thank you for all you're doing in the community. This center is going to impact so many children. Yep. And today is Day of Giving, and we are focusing on youth. So, so honored that we could present you with this check and support the great work that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Great surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. That's why we have a little, little on edge. So they came in, and we were like all kind of nervous, nervous. this morning. This Trying is to why. keep it secret. secret. Wow. Exactly. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank that means so much. And you're not an easy person to keep a secret from, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I, right now we do need to go but we want to thank of course all of our friends we've got Jason, we've got Becca, we've got of course Jeremy and Karen all of you, thank you so much for letting us be a part of such a special event on this Monday morning we appreciate, we appreciate you, you and thank what you, for you do all, that you all, all do. of you, thank you. We'll, be, we'll be right back